What it do, H-Town, what it do. On today's show, we will discuss every move the Houston Texans have made or suggesting they're all in on year two quarterback C.J. Stroud. And they're, in fact, pushing all of the chips to the middle of the table to go on a Super Bowl run now. And what's the best way to know an organization like Apple has a great product and that they're fully invested in that product? You follow the mucho dinero, baby. You follow the money. You follow the fettuccine. You follow the dough. You follow the moolah, baby. God damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. And the Houston Texans have spent tons and tons and tons of money via free agency, uh, via making trades and extending players, extending their own players, and making sure that C.J. Stroud has the best team possible around him to go on a deep playoff run, impossible Super Bowl run. The Houston Texans are showing us that they're committed to trying to win a Super Bowl right now. So Ace Town, get your listening ears ready, strap up your boots, and let's go. Hey, Houston fans, I am so happy. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Are you ready? I was born for this. Look, every Sunday, I don't give a, whenever we play, I get that text. Are you ready? Texas! The pitch. And Altuve hits it in the air pretty deep to left. Carter is back at the wall. Leaves and it is gone. It's gone. How do you like that? Cut one game at a time. Green still with it. Gets it back. Let's it fly. And got it. We don't do, we don't do, what do? Win. Welcome back, Ace Town. Welcome back. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend a few minutes here on Everything Ace Town Sports Debate Show. I'm your dreadhead host, Hot Topic TV. And like always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that notification bell so you can get the latest flames that your boy drop about your Houston Texans, your Houston Astros, and your Houston Rockets. But on to the topic at hand, baby. Your Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans are suggesting they're all the way in on your two quarterback C.J. Stroud. And I have a few reasons why. Here's why I believe, and maybe a lot of other Houston Texans fans and uh, media and uh, TV personalities believe that the Houston Texans are all in on this year. They all in on this year. We're not talking about next year. They're all in on this year. They're all in, and they're putting all their chips behind C.J. Stroud in year two. Um, and here's some of the reasons that I have. Let me look at my notes, okay? One of the reasons I believe that the Houston Texans are all the way in is, like I stated in the intro, you follow the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are always there. If a team has a great product or a company has a great product, they usually put the money behind it. They usually, um, they usually promote it. You see it all over commercials. They put money into promoting it. They put money into backing it up. And that's what the Houston Texans are doing with their money. They're backing C.J. Stroud up with bringing in uh, pieces that can help him. Like bringing in a Daniil Hunter on a two-year $48 million deal. Uh, bringing in a Stephon Diggs and essentially ripping up the last dead years and bringing in some of the money up front, giving him a $22 million deal, uh, like extending Nico Collins, man, trading for Joe Mixon and extending his contract to a three-year deal, um, bringing in a lot of these guys that's going to be here for a while to help C.J. Stroud and back C.J. Stroud up on this Super Bowl run while we have this Super Bowl window, while C.J. Stroud is on a rookie scale contract. Uh, right now, we can do a lot. And that's kind of similar, similar to what a lot of teams do when they feel they have the guy. The same, same thing the Chiefs did when they figured out they had Patrick Mahomes. In, in the same way, a lot of organizations operate when they know they have that guy, uh, when they have the quarterback, when they have the leader, when they have the guy that they can make that run. Usually they're going to spend even I, I know they're not Super Bowl contenders, but the same thing Jacksonville did when they seen Trevor Lawrence or, or they assumed 
or thought Trevor Lawrence is their guy. So they went and got him a lot of weapons via free agency and uh, went in the draft and got specific pieces that can help elevate his game. The same thing that the Houston Texans have done for C.J. Stroud. But enough with the rambling, baby. The Houston Texans, another way the Houston Texans and uh, head coach D'Amico Ryans and Nick Casario are letting you know they're all the way in. The old ways of the Houston Texans, if you was a good guy, uh, if you was a yes, a yes guy, uh, you were pretty much on this team and you were, you, were, you were going to be a starter. But this roster, this team, this organization, uh, it's not that way right now. Right now, we have 13 wide receivers and general manager Nick Casario, Nick Casario excuse me, insists on bringing in tons of competition. He insists on creating a competitive environment to make the cream of the crop rise to the top, baby. Right now on this roster, the Houston Texans currently have 13 wide receivers. 13, which three are dead locks. And let me give you the three that are locks. That's Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell. Then, I don't know if the if the organization feel like this, but here are the backups, the guy that I the guys that I believe and that I tag the backups. That'd be Noah Brown, Robert Woods, and John Metchie, possibly. But then after that, you have the guys that are fighting to get a roster spot or fighting to be uh, on 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 a second on a second stream team or the second stream uh, a second stream squad, uh, and those guys. Are, uh, are players like um, uh, Ben Sonoric. Skovronek. What you talking about, Willis? We just brought him over from the Rams, but that guy is also a, 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 a guy that can do all type of things. Also, we have Xavier Hutchinson. We have Johnny Johnson. We have Steven Sims still on the team. I mean, we have a lot of guys at the wide out position that's going to be fighting for minutes and that's going to be fighting for a roster spot. Um, right there is uh, not even all the guys. A couple of the guys are pretty much going to be practice squad guys, but that right there is about nine, 10 guys that I just rattled off right now. And at the moment, man, the other guys are pretty much just penciled in to be practice squad guys or, pra or, or just penciled in to be cut uh, by the end of training camp. Uh, also, he brought in tons and tons and tons of competition at the defensive line position, man. The defensive line is so deep, is deep as well as the wide receiver position. Um, on the defensive line, you have uh, Will Anderson Jr., uh, you have Foley Fadakasi, you have uh, Danico Autry, you have Daniil Hunter, they re-signed Jerry Hughes, you have Mario Edwards, you have Derek Barnett, you have Tim Settle, you have Kurt Heinisch, you have Solomon Bird, who's a rookie, you have Khalil Davis. Damn! Look how deep that defensive line is. And it's going to be some names that are not going to make this squad that everybody knows and everybody have grown to love. So right now, Nick Casario and D'Amico Ryans, they don't, they don't care about the choir boy. Even though they want a guy to come in here, be a professional, uh, uh, be a team first guy, uh, be a good guy in the community, they also want a guy who can play football. They're not building this team in the mold of a Bill O'Brien type team, a yes guy, a guy who uh, just follows the rules uh, that, that Bill O'Brien has put in place, but the guy can't play a lick of football. The guys that he drafted could not play football. The guys that he uh, extended were on a downslide and could not play football anymore. But this is not that team anymore. We're, we're bringing in tons and tons of com uh, competition because we're on the run right now. Why, uh, while CJ Stroud is on his rookie contract. H-Town, this is very, very exciting and I'm loving it right now, what this team is doing. We're in day three of, of, of training camp. Uh, our first hall, our first game is August 1st, a Hall of Fame game. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Um, the Houston Texans, like I say, follow the breadcrumbs, baby. Follow the breadcrumbs. I wanted to come to you guys to let you know uh, this. To me, I feel this is the best opportunity that we have and the best team that we had 
um, during the Super Bowl era, man, during during the existence of this team, I love the team that we had with Aaron Foster, Andre Johnson, Ben Tate, all those guys. Uh, uh, Matt Schaub, uh, I believe that team could have made it to the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a Matt Schaub injury, but Matt Schaub is not C.J. Stroud, and this roster is better than that roster was. Now, I understand we don't have an Andre Johnson, but we do have a lot of wide receivers that are capable of becoming an Andre Johnson, uh, like a Nico Collins. We have a Tank Dale that I don't believe anybody in the league can truly stay in front of. The guy is so shifty and has so uh, much change of direction and play football so fast at a top-notch speed. Uh, we have so many weapons, man. And then you bring in a three-down back who can catch out of the backfield, who can just run you over, and Joe Mixon. Uh, then not to even mention, uh, we have Dalton Schultz, and then we brought in uh, Cade Stover. We brought in so many pieces and so many weapons to help C.J. Stroud and help this defense and help D'Amico Ryans and help this organization climb to the mountaintop that I'm excited, baby. So... I just wanted to come to you guys with this video and let me know how you feel about this video, how you feel about what the organization is doing, uh, where are we heading? Do you believe the Houston Texans are in prime position to win the Super Bowl this year? Let your boy know in the comments. But until then, I'm your Dreadhead host, Hot Topic TV. It's been real and peace. Texas! What's up respect on our name?